Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to flash Slim ROM. Um, this is going to be, I've seen in the forums on the Zook fans page, um, some people having questions, troubles, and things like that. Um, so I just thought I'd just put in a, a video guide, show you how to go about that. But first you want to make sure, of course, back up your phone. Um, check out my previous video on how to back up your phone. I'll leave the link down in the description. But let's go ahead and boot into the custom recovery here. All right, so we're in the recovery. Let's go ahead and wipe if you've, after you've already uh, backed up your phone. So we're gonna wipe Davic Art Cache Data Cache System. Nothing new there. And I just like to wipe them twice it's just out of habit all right so we're gonna go ahead and flash slim rom now so we have slim z2 plus and official april 7th so this is um the latest build as of today april uh, april 13th um there has been a lot of fixes apparently they have fixed a lot of force closes um things like that one thing is you're gonna you're not gonna see like a progress bar. It's gonna take a little longer to flash than other ROMs just because of how the structure of the zip file is. Um, it's it's the way of how Omni ROM works with the system versus a, a dat a data type structure. So don't freak out if it's taking a little while. Give it time, and I'll come right back. All right, guys, so we're back. So it finally finished flashing, as you can see. And it also does flash Magisk there as well. So it comes pre-rooted. So now we just need to flash the open gaps file. I always download the latest one from the website. Make sure you download the ARM64 and 7.1 variant. And I just select stock and you can choose whichever um, version as you choose. So we'll let that flash and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, so open gaps have finally finished installing. So now on to the next most important part. So basically what happens is upon first boot, there is a script that runs, which basically cuts off internet access both on Wi-Fi and data. So what we have to do is before we boot to make not only the setup easier, but um, installing apps and just using the phone first time a lot easier, we need to delete a specific file, um, which basically removes that script. So we're going to go ahead and go over to advanced, go to file manager. And we need to actually first, we need to make sure that our system is mounted. So go over to mount system and then check that. All right. So now go to, again, go to advanced file manager. We're going to go down to system here. Then we go to ETC or et cetera. And we are looking for a file called crashdod.sh. So alphabetical order, crashdod.sh. Let's go ahead and delete that. Swipe to confirm. Cool. So now, essentially what's going to happen is your Wi-Fi and data will work straight away. You don't need to worry about anything else. You don't have to worry about installing an AF wall to allow apps for connectivity. So we can just go ahead and reboot. And this is gonna take several minutes as well. Um, so not only so not only with the latest April 7th build, they fixed the force closing issues like I already mentioned, um, and also they've reduced the minimum brightness as well. Um, I believe in the video I believe I mentioned about it being pretty bright still even at the lowest dim level um, but they fix that um, they've done several other um, fixes and performance improvements switching between apps things like that so there's no real delay but um, I just thought I'd give you 
guys an install video on how to flash slim rum that way you don't run into any issues and you know what to do just because this rum is slightly different um, but hopefully this all was helpful let's just finish and wait till this boots up all right so since it's been continuing to boot um, if it continues to just keep going through this boot animation what you may just need to do is press and hold the volume down and power just to restart it normally yes the initial boot does take some time but it shouldn't take an extremely extremely long period of time so go ahead and just restart it and it should boot up just fine so we'll give that a minute here All right, see, now it boots up perfectly fine. Not sure why the boot animation was upside down or why any of this is upside down. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so I don't know if that was an issue with, oh, here we go, finally, there. Okay, I don't know what. Anyways, let's keep it setting on the table then. Uh, English. Get started. Suggested US. Okay, this is really weird. Okay. So it's like as if everything was... I don't even know. It's like my touches here are interacting with the button up here. Look. Or hang on. See, you see that? Um, the Google account, don't set up, see I'm like I'm tapping up here, so I'm not sure if this is an issue with the flash or the ROM itself, I really can't say, but I'll be, I'll be trying to fix this. Hang on. All right, everyone. So I fixed it. So what I did is I just booted back into recovery. Um, and I, I wiped the cache and Dalvik cache or art Dalvik slash art and then cache and then rebooted the device. And now the screen is <laughs> and touch is back the way it is. So that was really, really odd. Um, so yeah, so I just want to let you guys know that everything seems to be up and running. Let me just check Wi-Fi real quick. All right, so we got connected to Wi-Fi and what we, all right, Timekeeper receiver has stopped. So you're still getting a, a closed app there, but definitely a lot less. We'll cross our fingers when I'm maybe using Chrome. Thanks. Let's go to XDA developers. Yeah, you can see that Wi-Fi is working just fine. So if you delete that file that I mentioned before, your internet will work straight out of the box without having to do anything else. So the phone is still settling in, so it's gonna be a little slow sluggish. I'm quick to respond, but so there you go, guys. Here's your guide on how to install SlimROM. If you guys have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. That way you can get additional 
notifications of awesome videos and guides, ROMs, things like that for not only the Zook, um, but eventually for the Nextbit Robin and other phones as well. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and take care.